you know, walk around you. I'm going to be like, oh, clapping my hands and talking and yelling and whacking you and, you know, and all that. And you need to stop doing so. You know, you got to just desensitize it. Just really. Keep doing that. Right. Yeah. But it takes a certain energy you're projecting. Like, you got to project that really confident, like, whatever. I don't care what your issue is, but we're still going to go out and we're going to stand and, you know, I'm going to watch Kate ride and I'm going to tell you to knock it off and I'm going to, you know, and you're not going to be all like, it's okay, Max, because that's what is going to make him feel better about himself. And he's a big boy to not have confidence in himself. He yeah. needs to, you know, it's like a dog or anything else. They need to kind of know how to be a dog or be a horse. He doesn't know how to be a horse. But you're in. But you're trying. But do you think that in the last month or so, she's been sort of trying to follow some of the painting yeah. and nursing techniques? But not, oh, you know, without real supervision except for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Do you think that has something to do with it, like the, that pointing and stuff? Or Well, I think, I mean, I don't know. I just picked up the ones and she treated them like I would have treated Possum or anyone else. Like I didn't expect anything of them. And I think you saw how he went in that first direction. Yeah. Just panic. And I was like, this is it. I was watching you. I wasn't even like, I'm like, whatever, dude. You work it out. And he went around me and he went around me and he went around me. And then I was like, this isn't me. I'm not creating it. That's you. But what I am not going to do is expect, I'm not going to ask you, you okay? You walk, walk, you know, you're all right. I'm not going to do that because I think that creates his insecurity. That's it right. kind of creates him being like, well, you're not telling me what to do. Like the second I picked up the lunge line, he's telling me what to do, telling me what to do. And I'm like, dude, walk. Like just be, be you, you know, and he's stressed about that. But with some time, I think he'll, he's already looking at him. Yeah. Totally different than when I picked him. Up the lens line. Mm -hmm. Totally different horse. And this is much more what you want to see before you get on him than what I saw when, like, I wouldn't have put you on him when I put him on. Really? No, because it's just going to create a bad experience for him, bad experience for you, and that's not what you want. A lot of his stuff can totally be fixed on the ground. I think you could have a totally different horse on the ground. And then you're going to go to the mounting box being like, we have a communication, I know how to communicate with them. He knows how to communicate with me. We know what's going on, and now we're going to go to the mounting block, and I'm going to now put that on his back, and then it'll carry over. Oh, look at him. So sweet. Might be a little exhausted. Yeah, I think. <laughs> but this is what he does, and then he needs to go out, and I need to teach class, and then he needs to come back in here and watch. He'd start right up at the same point again, and has to come back down. You know, so it's that repetitive. So maybe before getting a, a riding lesson, maybe I just need some lunging lessons and yep. other lessons. Like exactly. You just need this. Yeah. We need to get you doing that, feeling like you can come out here. <laughs> I was like, I'm just being true. Feeling like you can do that and feeling With like. With confidence and right, correctly. Like you're, right. And you're like, wow, that was a really good session we just had because he showed me this, this, and this. Yeah. We started here. We ended there. Now we're going to go in the barn and I'm going to, you know, whatever you want to do with them. Whether yeah. it be bathe them, pull his mane, whatever, and translate those things onto that and create that real communication between but we can also work it and then I can be on the ground when you start to get out of you know what I mean like yeah. all that stuff yeah. because like he just needs to be chill out this isn't anything this has nothing to do with your riding capability or anything this is just him having a lot of baggage which is fine you know, just, you know. Well, I have no idea what this is no and you never will all you can go on is what he's telling us right now and but I have fun he's not a bad boy so oh. I want to invest so not a bad boy. Yeah. Totally yeah. wants to be, yeah. like, he was, you know, panicked to do the right thing, but he just doesn't know what the right thing is, so he comes out in all these weird ways, and he just kept it up, he's very good and strong, so we want to make sure. Ooh, easy hit. So we'll go out and stand in the, and yeah. I'm just interested in what I'll do out in the field just to see, and then I can help you with okay. big peak. Plus it's like, oh, my nappy eyes. Here's his nappy eyes on. Yep. Nappy eyes. 